Hi guys, welcome back. So South Africa get the job done, 30 points to 14. They wrap up the series, but my goodness me, it was tough going. Wales have been phenomenally hard to break down in this series. So, you know, big credit to them, a big heart, but they were outplayed. I think South Africa were the best side. Now, this was the sort of series that gives you bruises just from watching it. Really tough stuff. And South Africa, to be fair, started off the best they've started actually looking like the world champions they are. It's 3-0 very early on, and then the powerful carries, making good ground, smart kicking, smart chasing, Mpimpi, uh, Willemse almost both in, Dielande actually inches just short, and it's just unrelenting, and you think a try is going to come, and it's actually Pollard in the end who goes between a couple of players to get over, carrying on his good running game from last week. Yeah, Pollard's running game, definitely looking pretty decent, threatening that line. And because there's so many running threats around Pollard, I think it definitely does open up a few extra gaps. And 60 minutes in, I make the note, it's already the best game of the series. Wales are working the full width of the pitch side to side, which is a theme they've been trying to do for the first two tests. But in this test, they did it really quite effectively. Um, even more width and uh, Willemse, a really nice tackle just to deny Adams. But Wales, the man of the series, Rafael, is in support of Adams. Gets the pop, scores the try. Just a great start to the game. 10 points to 5. Really enjoying it. Um, yeah, and they're getting that joy out wide with some really nice hands as well from the likes of Williams. So good stuff from Wales. Quality match. And quarter of the match gone. And Wales are right back into it after that strong start. Then... It's about 25 minutes in before the best maul of the match. You always know you're going to get a lot of mauls with South Africa. But they finally get a good one going on 25. Roland Lewis giving away too many, many penalties. And it seems like a yellow card is inevitable, but doesn't happen. And it's a top jackal turnover that relieves an almost certain South African try. And Wales dispelled a lot of South African attacks in this game. you know, And they could have maybe nicked it at the end but weren't quite good enough to do so, but they definitely defended incredibly well on their line. Now, just listing a few players looking really good for Wales. I mentioned Rafael, but Hardy's played really well in this series. North was hitting up really well, plus good hands. Yeah, he's definitely there, out and out, number 113. Bigger playing nicely, so it's not like Wales are not performing. It's just South Africa, that little bit stronger. But a few silly penalties from South Africa in this game, although I don't think they gave away as many penalties as Wales, but Peter Steff to toy this time for pushing uh, the charger when obviously he doesn't have the ball. So that was a cheap three points. Actually gets him back to 2 points, 10, 8. A couple of minutes to go before half time. The South African carrying is really powerful, but it's very basic. And I wrote at this point, I feel they can do a bit more. <laughs> Literally just as I wrote that, they did do a bit more. And in this game, we saw them try a few more things. They couldn't nail a lot of it, but they certainly were trying with a bit more width, a bit more variation. It's a couple of nice pull behinds. They leave two forwards out wide on the right, including Khaleesi, make big ground, get a penalty, line out, really nice maul, good technique. Umbanambi splits off, try, nicely done South Africa. That was good for them. They go in 17 points to eight. You know, the game is bubbling nicely. That was the best half of rugby in the tour easily. Now, after half time, Wales actually get back into the match with a couple of soft penalties from South Africa. Although South Africa do go over the line, but it's a forward pass ruling that one out. So actually Wales get back to within three points, 17-14. But South Africa once again just pull away with a really good attack using real pass variation and width, which is what we want to see from South Africa. And we don't always see uh, Wales' defence is very good, but more penalties, big maul. Marks breaks off like an absolute bullet. My goodness me, that guy can accelerate. Couple more penalties. It looks like it's inevitable. Pollard nearly in, but finally it's Khaleesi who bundles over. 24 14. Is that the one that breaks the Welsh resistance? Well, the answer is well, no, they keep on going. Beautiful hands from Williams, uh, free Adams who steps clear. They're getting around the edge of South Africa quite a lot, which will worry them. But South Africa, you know, they work wide as well, but they can't get over the line. So there's only 10 points in it. You know, there's 20 points to go. This is definitely still on, even though South Africa have had some huge territorial advantage and a lot of possession. You know, it is still on. And on 68 minutes, Wales get these chances. A couple of bad penalties for South Africa get Wales five metres out. It feels like they've got a score here, but a bad overthrow from Lake. And he is prone to a couple of those. 
Wales, they get another chance out wide with Adams, but Quagga Smith is in there with a top jackal to save the day, and they needed to take one of those chances. And indeed, towards the end, five minutes in, Marks' explosive acceleration again causing havoc. What a sub he is. Forces a penalty. They knock it over, 27-14. It's out of sight. Final kick, another penalty, 30 points to 14. Now, South Africa will be very happy to wrap up this series. This was the best performance of the series for them. They didn't nail everything, but they showed a bit of variation, which I wanted to see. Wales scored a nice try early on, hung tough as they do, kept in that game. But yeah, they weren't quite as good as South Africa. But Wales can definitely hold their heads up high because it's such a tough place to go. And to get close within a chance in the final game is good credit to them. So pop all those comments below and I'll catch you guys next time.